We got the Rocky music going on here at Trojans Live because we got a fighter in our midst here, Gerald Washington, who's got a, he's just got a great story. 14-0 now as a heavyweight, but you know what? It all started back in the Navy. You were a, you were a helicopter mechanic, and then you end up at, at, at USC playing football. But t t tell me about the Navy first. How did you end up going down that path? I was in uh, NJROTC in high school four years, uh, so I just fell in love with the whole military um, drilling and just the whole program that they had there. So right after high school, I went straight to the Navy. Um, I went to boot camp and had a great time. Had a, I spent a year in um, training and learned how to work on jet engines, and then I, I was stationed down in uh, San Diego for the remainder of my time there. Then, of course, you come to USC and play football for the, for the Trojans. After your USC career, what inspires you to get in the ring? I actually grew up boxing, so boxing has always been my first love, my passion. So I used to go to the Mega Boys and Girls Club here in Vallejo after school program, knock out my homework, and then just run straight back to the boxing gym. We used to run around the, uh, you know, the neighborhood there and, and just warm up and then get, get into the boxing, and I just fell in love with it. Yeah, you played at SC for a couple years. You, you did try it out on, on practice squads. How would you characterize your football career? Uh, it was it was great. You know, I, I didn't really grow up playing football. I played my senior year in high school. So for me to make it as far as I did, I was like, you know, it's truly a blessing <laughs> for me. I, I, I never would have dreamed of coming to USC, man. But I had a great experience here. It was, it was great playing with, uh, you know, Sarkeesian and Coach Carroll and all the, all my teammates and stuff. It was, it was a wonderful experience, man. I love it. And I always cherish that. Well, 6'5", 270 pounds or whatever you were, he's at SC. He has the advantage. <laughs> um, you, you, with your SC experience, what it, I mean, you were around some, you know, some really good teams. You know, talk about that a little bit. Um, it's it's just it's just top notch. You know, competition all the time. You know, the best you got the best uh, athletes in the country, and you know, I, I take that with me everywhere I go. As far as uh, that competition, um, being able to play, with, you know, and take that into my boxing career and, and all the all the workouts that we do. You know, I'm I'm a different boxer because of my football career. Yeah, so I mean, at age 30, I guess, is when you really decided to make that hard switch and say, I'm going to be a boxer. It's obviously a little late. I mean, what what did you do at that point to, to, to really get your career kick-started? Um, we had an, uh, I started, uh, you know, I, did, I tried out for a couple of NFL teams, went to mini camps, OTAs and stuff, you know, and, that, and during the transition, I just started, you know, boxing because, you know, just for the training, the physical part of it. And then, uh, you know, I started doing a couple of sparring sessions and I started doing good. And then, you know, they took me over to a couple of other different gyms, you know, uh, Wild Card and, and Fortune's Gym out in Hollywood. You know, I started to, to excel and, and do well in those. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And then the 2012 Olympian, uh, Dominic Brazil, he actually came and he was training at our gym, Pullman's Gym in Burbank. Um, and, and while they were, Al Heyman was actually uh, trying to sign him. And he ended up, that's the most powerful man in boxing. That's uh, <laughs> Floyd Mayweather's manager. Right. Um, and then that's when they discovered me. And then that just kick-started everything right there. Now, with, for your boxing career, does your manager sort of manage everything in terms of who you fight? What's the strategy? How fast do you want to progress? I'm actually moving pretty fast. I'm 14-0 with 10 knockouts. I'm ranked ninth in the country, 30 in the world right now. Uh, fought, I've been on TV five times already. Um, you know, 14 fights in just over two years. It's, it's, it's great, a great rate for me. So... Oh. By next year, you know, I'm going to be definitely, uh, you know, I'm a contender now, but, you know, I'll be a rising star, and I'll, I'll be, you know, hunting down that championship soon. I want to know when in the process you get to choose your nickname. I mean, that's like the most important thing. I mean, when? It, how do you break that down? Why, why El Gallo Negro? El Gallo Negro. Um, oh, my Spanish. See, my Greek is better than my Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I just got right, schooled right, right. on my Spanish. <laughs> Uh, actually, my mother's from Mexico. I yeah. went to school down in Mexico. I grew up speaking Spanish and everything, you know, my whole family. So I just wanted something to represent both sides. And, I, you know, and, and when I come out to my fights, you know, I come out to some, uh, to some music, some Spanish music. And it, it kind of, you know, everybody's like, what is that about? You know, so <laughs> definitely after the fights, you know, they always come up and ask me questions or, or they speak to me. And it's definitely uh, helping me with, the, you know, build more fans. You know, when you talk about conditioning, we have the water polo guys. I know that's hard. I can't be even tread water for about <laughs> three minutes but with, with with the boxing conditioning they say that's one of the hardest sports to yes, get definitely. in condition for H how how does that work for you the transition from football and then you know you know tell me about how how good a shape are you in now even compared to when you played here it's a totally different monster you know when you're, you're training for to be explosive and, and fast speed and everything here and, and to be powerful i had to leave all the weights alone you know just just do uh, light weights now uh, you know, I was benching 400 some pounds, squatting 600 some pounds over here, you know, and it was like sprint stuff. Everything is just short and fast. In the boxing ring, you can't be like that. You have to really be conditioned and be able to go those those 12 rounds. You know, eventually that's what you're working for. You start off doing four rounds, then go to six and eight, 
and then you work way to 10 and then championship fights is 12 rounds you got to be able to go the whole duration and the sprints that you know you'll if you try to if you try to box the way you play football you'll be done in a round <laughs> for 10 knockouts and 14 <laughs> fights you don't have to worry about 12 rounds either yeah that's true <laughs> uh, that's conditioning though tell me about toughness so who's got to be tougher a football player or a boxer Woo! my last fight uh you know i have to really dig deep you know it's, it's some some everybody's not gonna get knocked out easy you know sometimes it, it's uh it's hard to be in there by yourself you know you got football you got you got the team out there you got everybody's support you got your coaches you know what you're doing you got the plays everything is, is laid out for you and the boxing ring is kind of like you, as as it goes you gotta you gotta be able to be aware and be able to react to everything coming at you and sometimes the guy's hungry and he's trying to come hurt you you know and, and it's and it's scary in there and you have to really be prepared and, and that's where the training and all the hard work comes in that way when that time comes you, you have what it takes all right when can we see you next but we got to get you in galen center then we really oh, get man. the sc community out here I, I was actually supposed to fight here a few yeah. months ago but they uh switched it out for me but uh um, you know hopefully they'll have another fight here soon or i'll be fighting here in the uh, la area I fight at uh the home depot center or i, I fight a lot in uh in fantasy springs in indio california so I'm all over the place. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. And uh, definitely, man, I'm looking for my Trojan support. You know, I, you I, I, lo I love being able to wear the USC on and, and say fight on when I come into the ring. So Check him on Twitter. You're always updating on Twitter when your next fight's going to be, and we'll push it out, too. We're always, uh, we're always behind you, our USC heavyweight. Uh, Trojans Live is brought to you by BMW. See your Southern California BMW Center today for exceptional offers or visit SoCalBMW.com today. Thank you, Gerald Washington. We're going to come right back on Trojans Live to wrap things up in the lab.